Welcome back to Midford Pottery. So these are my uh, coffee cup commissions. I'm just doing another couple of ty different types, different clear. See what we come out with. So enjoy. Not be much talking in this one, just a bit of music. So I'll see you at the end. So cups done. So we'll do a trimming video on them as well. Uh, hopefully they'll all be dry for later on today. So we'll see you in a minute. Okay, so a little time has passed. And this is where we our little uh, coffee cups and handles so we're going to trim and attach them so we will move the camera down now to finish this bit of the process off and zoom in a bit just like that Right, I've oh, got a big shadow there. We need another light on. Get the lights on. Ooh, and we'll switch the heater off for a bit because it's buzzing. There. There. Bit of light on the matter. Right. So we'll do this fella first. We will position our other one over here put our handles to one side <clears throat> so they're relatively thin so it's literally just going to be uh, to carve that bit off uh, what I might do actually just to give us a, a bit of a cheat we'll use our and we're giving grip, knocking everything over. Make sure it's level. That's it. Save us a few minutes. I see it's only this bit I'm going to have to trim off on this, so we just support it with a grip. 
we need a little milk bottle top like so uh, what is the tool of choice for tonight we will use a wire tool so that's uh, straight angles and there's the curved side as well right so I'm thinking just in and knock that edge off so I'm thinking about there like that I see they're relatively thin so there's not a lot to Not a lot of clear to take off. And just about burnish it actually. Which I might do actually. So I'm going to fit in there. That's not a good idea. Get these uh, bits of clay out of the way. Let's have a look. us. I think that's all we need on them actually, they look okay. So that's, uh, that's that put done, so it's just got a little bit of a profile on it. We will try and emulate that on its twin. Try not to do too much before I break them. So we're two cups done. Rest them over there. So the main bit is going to be getting our handle done. So we will we'll change Move the camera up a little bit. So we've got our little whirler. Now handles, where's our handles? <clears throat> so they're quite delicate so I'm thinking that one and we'll pull that a bit to elongate it. That one's not too bad. Which one's got a better pry? That one's a bit chunky. So we'll go for that one, that's our back up, and that one, oh, and I need my slip to attach my handles. Now, where is my ES90 slip gone? Where is it indeed? I know I've got it somewhere. That's my ES5, there it's there. There's my ES90. There's my slip. There's my slip. Need a brush. We've got water. We've got scratchy tools ready. I'll pop that open. That's just about right. 
need a pin tool to scratch this with. That's a pin tool there. Right. So they're quite thin. So I'll just uh, Fettle that base, a few little marks on it. Just fettle it by hand, make sure it sits okay, which it does. Alright, let's see, they're just on the wet side. I've been trying to hold them since we did our other video. I think we'll manage just. Uh, uh, we do need our trusty sponge so we're going to rest them at an angle like that so I'm going to pick here so we're going to try this handle first so that's this more slender handle and as always we just uh, use our knuckle just to splay the clay out a bit so that gives us like a little edge of clay to, which we can blend into the body now which way looks best I think that way, yep, yeah, that way it does so we will score that side as well. A bit of water on our brush. A bit of slip on there. Da, 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 da. A bit of slip on the pot. Like that. Then we will hold the inside of the pot, if we can see. And then we will apply pressure whilst wiggling the handle, and that'll grip. So my bottom finger I'm pushing in first, just to get that bottom edge attached. And then slowly, I usually do the sides next. And because I've got big sausage fingers, I'll leave the top till last. So there's our the bottom bits blended in. We'll come back to fettle that off. Now what I do want to do, <coughs> which I will adjourn to the bucket, I'm just going to address that handle and just uh, as we were pulling the handle, as if we were pulling a handle so I'm going to dip it in water dip my hand in and I'm just going to pull the handle unfortunately you can't see but you'll see the results like that not a lot so it's literally it smoothed up the surface of the handle really more than anything and I did that the wrong way and my cloth's on the wrong side <laughs> dry my hands so on this so we're now going to blend our handle without deforming our pot too much because they are quite thin Actually what I might do, because it is so thin, we will get a wooden tool, if I can get one, and a bit of water on it. I'm just going to blend this top in so we know we are attached. 
nice and securely. Right, we're on. So it's starting to form its own handle already. So the handles are relatively wet. So I'm going to go for that type of shape there. So I'm going to go sort of that profile on it. Actually, I'm going to move that up a little bit. Don't look right, that. Don't look right. I'll have to curve that profile around a bit more. That's it. Right, so what we're going to have to do to get that profile right, I'm going to cut that bit off. So with our pin tool, get the end of that and we can get rid of the excess clear and then that is then going to attach uh, that's a better shape that's a better shape so if we line that up like so And then we will score and slip end of our pot there. So we're going to just attach that as far down as we can go. Check the profile. Make sure it's in line which it is and then we will apply pressure and then we will blend it in to the body of the pot both sides so I found it's usually best if you can't to blend it handle to body seems to give a slightly better effect and then wetted finger and then we will just run that over there and then I'm going to get my trusty little sponge dip that in there wring it out, it gives you a good couple of different profiles to uh, to smooth any rough edges out can get into the places that your fingers can't get into especially the the sharper edge so I'm just going to blend that handle in you see a handle to body Sure there's no sharp edges. Smooth our handle off. Make sure there's no gaps anywhere. And that 
is our handle on so I need to adjust the profile on that a little bit so I'm just going to give that a little bit of pressure just to straighten that top edge up wow these are thin three hard to not knock them off shape so there you go that's our first one done I'll come back in a minute I'll do another one and then we'll we'll sum up on that pair of coffee cups so I'll see you in a minute and by the magic of editing we've now finished that one we have a handle I'll just move that out of the way and put this on we now have a twin Two handles. Try not to knock them out around too much because they're very soft still. So there we are, there's our other two coffee cups. So they got handles. I've done my, which seems to be coming a bit of a signature of mine. We've got a thumb rest on both. We got our maker's mark underneath and check back for a glazing video as soon as possible may take a little while but check back and hope you've enjoyed this so uh, we will zoom out and we will say goodbye so I'll move that up so you can see me so thanks for watching so that's some coffee cups uh, which is a little commission I'm doing so we got two pairs of coffee cups and so that's throwing them and trimming them putting handles on etc hope you've enjoyed it thanks for watching see you in another video very very soon remember clear is the way see you later bye